Hello there, and once again, welcome back to my computer. I'm still playing around with Archimedes Solace in this video, and here I have an iCozy Dodi Kuhina. This is my surface solution, but I will now do it like different solids which will interfere with each other. Mind my, I'm going to start doing sketches, and I'm using the symmetry you can see from here. That's this one pentagon, one pentagon, and a triangle, and a small triangle over here which makes up the upper part of this body, so let's start with that. We are going to go straight to do a new sketch and start with line. The first line is going to be the center path we're going to use for our sweeps later, so make sure, make sure it gets horizontal. We need a second line. This is just for dimension help. We're going to make these two lines equal and we're going to put in our dimension immediately. So it could be from this point to this point. It's going to be from. It should be from flat pentagon to flat pentagon. So have a look at that. We're going to do a line which is going to use to help us constrain things. It's going to be construction line and mint point to a center point, so we can move it like that. Now we're going to create our first polygon, or our only polygon. We use the software for uh, five sides pentagon. We're going to make it uh, construction. Make that line uh, vertical and make it a bit bigger. We are doing a center line which you're going to use. This is just to help us keep on as construction to here. I'm going to turn off the dimension in case it's in my way. When we are doing a line from midpoint up to here, and then a line from here down to here. Now we want this, this are the two center lines of a pentagon, so we're going to make them equal. But it's not really locked in yet, as you still see, I can still move it around. So, what you need to do, we're going to use this line as a symmetry line. So, you're going to choose these two lines and tell it to be a symmetric around this line. And now it's all locked down. So, now we start working on the triangles. We're going to draw a triangle here and make sure. No, no more lines. Goodbye. Make sure that this and this side are all equal. And to help us get the dimension, we just do a circle like that. And a line from here to here, and a second line from here to here. This is a fixed dimension. This is not ready yet. So, what we're going to do, we're going to make these two equal. And now we have all the dimensions with the oil like the basic geometry of a sketch. So now we're going to start to, as I said, I'm going to do sweeps. The line in the middle here is going to be a path. Now we're going to do a guide rail. So the first is easy. We just turn this into normal right, normal line as we guide rail. And now we need to do a guide rail for this line and for this line. So let's do that. We do a line. Start a turn of construction. We're going to take it up to somewhere here. Make sure that this line becomes parallel, or we call it collinear, with this line we did here, and we're going to lock in so that the top point is horizontal to the center point. That's one. We're going to do the next one from here. It's going out somewhere around here. I'm starting with the horizontal constraint, and then I'm going to make it parallel to this. And now we are done. So let's go here and start our next, next set of sketches, or our next sketch. We're going to turn it up so we can see it a bit better. We are going to do some projections, of course, because we need the fix we are done, so we can connect the sketches together. Center point, this point, oops, no, let's do that, I do not want the line. I want the points, the point, 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 and point. Now we're done. We're going to create the polygons. We don't need circumscribe polygons. We're going to need, uh, of course, pentagons, five sides. And let's repeat that. We're going to need three of these. Repeat circumscribe, dish out here, five sides, like that. We're going to now going to do midpoint constraints. Any one of the pentagons to one of the points out here. Then any side to that point, and the last one out to there. And now we have all the sketches we need. 
Now we're going to start doing some sweeps. So let's start with a sweep. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, we've got the path. Uh, change that. Path and guide rail, that's good. Uh, the path is made up, we're going to start with this guide rail here. So we're going to choose that, and we can see that that guy is connected to this pentagon. We, this takes some clicking around, and the path is going, of course going to be the center line here, and the guide rail is going to be this one. New body, that's good. Uh, I'm going to turn off the bodies now makes it a bit easier we're going to sweep again now we're going to do this one here so it's that and the five tips of it the path again the center line of everything and the guide right is going to be this one now we can't see nobody so we want to turn the arm and change operation from cut as we want to do to intersect as we are using the different body to cut off different parts of a different body and now for the last one once again a sweep uh, let's see we can choose all of them should be working yeah good we're going to choose that path and the last guide rail out here and now we're going to turn on the bodies again uh, and wants to do a cut no i want to do intersect and with that turn off the sketches we have done half of it now we need to turn it around, but we can't do a mirror because we go back to the surface here. As you can see, there's a pentagon here and it's a triangle here. But if we do a mirror, we're going to go the pentagons on both sides. So we are going to do a circular pattern. Of so make sure pattern type is bodies, this one, and now we choose for axle. And we can use for rigidness if I made everything so bad. We cannot choose for axle for a flat side. We need to find the axle that's pointing on a vertex or edge which this one is doing we're gonna need two sides and with that it's correctly done we're gonna do a combine so get it to one solid like that and with that with one two three four five six seven steps we have a ico ketron you can inspect the dimension let's see if it works from this flat side to this side which should be 100 millimeters thank you and we can also check the edges we choose any two edges, uh, they are the same length, and we can check around on other edges, they are all the same length. And just to finish up, hope this works, let's change the dimension. Turn on dimensions, we're gonna change that to 37 millimeters, like that. Finish sketch, and let's inspect again. And with that, yeah, it works. So that was the icosidotic coheder and the best but seeing through it. And we turn it off again. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care and see you around.